Catholic and Sports Report, joined by the Lima Central Catholic Wrestling Team on the eve of the Allen County Invitational that they host this year. Nick Sanchez, fifth year head coach for LCC. Nice to be hosting the Allen County yeah, this year, isn't it? It is. It's great. It's a little bit of work, but not, not a lot. It's like put on a sectional tournament, but it's, it's good that we don't have to travel. And so. pretty special for the guys. I mean, it rotates around between the 10 or, or yep. 11 schools, so yep. some of these guys don't get a chance to do that. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of like a league tournament. Um, you know, if, you, if you're familiar with the league, they, they transfer, like you said, every year. Um, it allows you to do that. And uh, I think we were up for a bit a year or two ago, and for some reason we gave it up, and then we were able to pick it up this year, and I jumped on it. So... It's a good opportunity. Tell me about your team this year. What can we expect from LCC wrestling? Ah, uh, you're gonna expect uh, some hard-nosed kids. Uh, we're we we have about eight or nine kids right now. We have three brand new kids, um, and then uh, so that that never started or wrestled on a mat ever before. Oh wow! So it's it's a lot of fun. We have a kid from Denmark. Uh, we call him Denmark. So if you hear me yelling that, <laughs> it makes sense. But uh, and then we have a few other kids. Um, you know, we have the Caprellas, and uh, we actually we have three of them this year. And then we have uh, two other returning varsity letters that are going to be competitive, and we're we're still kind of young, um, but we're going to be we're going to be aggressive and improving each each week. So, how how tell me about the Denmark experience? <laughs> this, this has to be great on Man. the wrestling map. What made him come out? <laughs> I I don't know. He came today, and or he came he came to me uh, one day, and he's just basically said he wanted to wrestle and I was like well have you ever wrestled before and he's got a, he's got a pretty cool accent when I'm not I'm not going to try it but uh he came in and said he wanted to give it a shot and, and um I don't even know it's it's a it's a work in progress but it's a lot of fun a lot of fun and it, it's kind of neat to see how we do things and he's not real familiar you know some of the the lingo and some of the things we do and uh it's been a fun fun little uh, trip for me and the, and the coaches so how about the Caprellas? You got the brothers, yep. Joey and Gavin, and then the cousin Chase as well in the mix. Yep, yep. so uh, Joe, Joey's actually the cousin of Chase and Gavin. Okay, um, Chase and Gavin. Yep, so okay. it, it's, it's a lot of fun. It, there's a lot of hostility uh, in a good way, <laughs> you know. Um, so I, I like seeing that, it, and we, it's kind of a running joke um, as far as, you know, winner at the end of the day is going to pick who gets to sit, sit at the small table at the holidays, right? <laughs> so we, uh, it, it's a lot of fun watching those three guys because they're all different, different levels as far as weight uh, and talent, and then the way they wrestle too is a lot different so it's a lot of fun to watch them scrap and and, and watch the uh, the environment in there get a little bit heated so it's been a, it's been a it's been a good blessing so. speaking of joey caprella committed to ohio yep. or old old, old dominion, dominion. Old dominion. ODU, yep, ODU. Uh, division one wrestling yep. fifth at state last year how yeah. have you seen him progress here in his senior year so far uh, a lot of off-season work is has been the biggest factor uh make sure we're you know we're doing the right things and and just uh getting in the weight room and, and training uh day in and day out and so we see a lot of different progress i know last year it made a big difference is uh I wasn't able to really compete with them and wrestle with them last year because I, I was uh, bummed up a little bit on my on my shoulder. Uh, so it's it's nice to get my hands on him again this yeah. year and actually uh, be in his face and, and make him a little bit more tough. But uh, let one slip away last year and, and we're doing the right things and making the right right adjustments to make sure that we're on top of the podium at the end of the year. So. How do you guys approach Allen County? Not in a league, so this gives you a kind of a league environment type of thing with with the rivalries, at least with yeah, the kids. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, we just we train as another another weekend. Okay. Um, you know, we change our, our our prepping is a little bit different because unfortunately with the Allen County, it's not as near as, as in depth as as with athletes. Yeah. So we we go a little bit harder than we normally would on on the day before, but still prep the same. Still still number one goal is go out there and, and win every match and dominate and and, and break your opponents and. Uh, just nothing's really changed other than just a little bit longer practice. So Break your opponents. That's yeah. wrestling. I yeah. love it. <laughs> We're getting ready. Yeah. 10, 10 a.m. is that when it starts tomorrow? 10 a.m. start time. Okay. Uh, finals are going to be projected around 4 or 5 o'clock. Okay. I, would, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, I think there's 106, 109 athletes. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're, if we're uh, on the mat for the finals around 3, 3.30, to oh, be wow. honest. So, okay. yeah. Well, good luck tomorrow. Thanks for coming Appreciate in. We'll go talk you. to yep. those Caprellas, all three of them joining us here. So we have Joey next to me, Chase in the middle, and Gavin on the end. Senior year, what's this feel like? Um, it's kind of weird, honestly, knowing that this is my last go around. Um, sometimes it's like, you know, I wish I had another year or two. Or uh, just, I know I'm accomplished my goals this year, but, you know, just like, <laughs> like a fallback kind of. Yeah. Just like, I know I'm going to do it, but like, it's, it sucks that I don't have more high school wrestling, but it's about time I'm ready to move on to college. So I'm sure and that will come in time, but yeah. first the season ahead and your goals obviously to get higher than fifth at state. Yeah, of course, state champ. So yeah, focused that's in goal. on that. <laughs> yeah. Allen County tomorrow, is that, uh, you don't get to wrestle a whole lot. Or last year actually it was a pretty competitive down the stretch, but uh, yeah, what's the field look like this year? Last year, yeah, I bumped up and so I could get tougher competition yeah. against uh, some of my friend, uh, friend, yeah, Naeem. Yeah. But uh, this year, uh, I, 
not doing like the bumping up to Naeem. He's got a little bigger than me, so, you know, that'll be a fun one tomorrow at home. Just, I don't, I don't want to talk like big, but like just, you know, have fun, go out there, wrestle, hit my moves, and win one in front of the home crowd. That'll be fun. Chase Caprella at LCC with your brother and cousin. What's this like so far? Um, it's been a great experience. I mean, it's fun just going in day in and day out with Joey and Gavin and just banging heads. Does it feel like Thanksgiving every day of practice? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's like a family reunion every day. How, how's, how's the rivalry? I mean, you guys have, have grown up, you know, kind of talking a little bit and, and going back and forth. How, how's the rivalry in the, in the mat room? Oh, it's intense all the time. <laughs> All the time. How about your younger brother? What's it like to be with these two guys? It's insane. They <laughs> drive me nuts, but they push me every day, 100%, as much as they can. Do you guys ever spar? I mean, they're a little bigger than you. Yeah. Yeah, we spar every day. All three of you? Yeah, all three. He's, he's my drill partner. Okay. He drills with uh, one of the coaches or uh, one of the smaller wrestlers every day. Okay. But when we go live, we always run into each other. So we spar every day. What's freshman year been like for you so far on the varsity mat? Um, it's been real fun. It's been a real challenge. The room's been really tough. Just got to push through it. You're so serious. I don't know what to make of you because you were jo cracking jokes before we came on the air. And all of a sudden, you're a professional. What happened? <laughs> Old Dominion, let's talk about uh, going down to ODU. What's that decision look like for you, and why'd you um, make it? It was a tough one considering uh, how far away it is. Mm -hmm. So that'll be... Uh, I don't want to say it'll be taxing on the family. That'll be a great experience. Norfolk is a great city. But uh, it'll be kind of weird being far away from home. But when I took my visit, I loved it. And there was, you know, there was no negatives there. Everything was just perfect the way it was. And their uh, program is on the come up, in my opinion. So I'm really excited to be there. Chase, goals for the rest of the year for you. What are you looking for? Uh, same thing as Joey, state champ. I mean, Get that's back it. there and to be on top. Coach Sanchez said, LCC now stands for Lima Catholic Caprellas, or Lima Central Caprellas, LCC. You can see them tomorrow at the Allen County Invitational. There it comes out a little bit. Thanks for joining us, guys. Good luck tomorrow and all season long. Yep, thanks. All right, Thank Patrick, you. back to you.